In this video I will put my jigsaw table on a table structure to make it more comfortable to use. But before that I will cut one of these playwood boards. These are the ones I put to each side of my kind of homemade combination machine when I need them. I have already drawn the cutting line, so I wear my safety goggles and the ear protection, and I cut the board. One piece goes here, and the other piece goes in the other end of the table. Here I have the screw that I used to stop the table saw sled. And because the table structure is some millimeters longer than the sum of the width of all the boards together, I will leave a groove there, so the screw is not a problem, and the edges of the board fit with the borders of the table structure. The piece I put in the other side fits perfect, and I don't need to leave any groove between the boards. I can unscrew the pieces to put there a full piece of board when I need it. And now, here I have the jigsaw table. The problem I have is that when I install the jigsaw under the board, I don't have too much board behind the saw to clamp the board to a table. I will make the most of this small light table to use it as a table structure to put under my jigsaw table. So I will screw the jigsaw table on one side of the night table. At first I was going to remove the top, but finally I decided to cut it. I cut that piece with the saw right against the table structure, and I cut the same part in the opposite side of the table top. Like that I can rest it on one side on the table, and I can put my jigsaw table on it. I was about to screw it, but then I thought it is easier if I remove the strips under the board, because I don't need them anymore. The night table and the board of my jigsaw table are almost the same length. I make sure I will be able to install the jigsaw under the playwood top, making sure it won't bump into the back of the night table structure. And I must make sure I will be able to change the jigsaw blade. I center the board on the table structure. And I make sure that the table legs protrude some millimeters under the playwood board. And now I can fix the board with some screws. Like that I can keep it easily. I can set it upright, so I think I can also use it as a stool. Well, I will install the jigsaw. As I mentioned in my last video, I think this jigsaw will work better than the red one I used when I made this jigsaw table. The problem is that the MDF sheets that I had put around the shoe of my red jigsaw don't fit around the shoe of this jigsaw. But the wing nuts and the washers are enough to fix the jigsaw in place. But I'll have to adjust the position. I don't tighten the nuts very hard, just enough to hold the saw. I can install the blade. And the blade is moved forwards, so I move the jigsaw backwards. I check if the blade is vertical, but it is slightly inclined to that side. After I have a look under the board, I realize that the dust extraction pipe bumps into the back of the table structure, and one side of the shoe is not resting on the board. I remove the dust extraction pipe and I make sure that all the base of the shoe is touching the board. And now the jigsaw blade is perfectly vertical. I made the guide that keeps the blade vertical to use it with the red jigsaw. With my green jigsaw the blade protrudes some millimeters less than with the red one. But even when I use the green jigsaw 
and the blade is in the lowest position, the back of the blade still touches the guide, so it works without any problem. But just in case, I will move the adjustable orbital action switch to zero, so it is always pushing the blade. Here we can see how it pushes the blade. Now I check if the blade is parallel to the sides of the tabletop, but it looks like I need to move the jigsaw this way. I loosen the wing nuts. Now I hit in the back of the jigsaw to make it spin like that. And now it is ok. So I tighten the wing nuts. I make sure the wing nuts hold the jigsaw firmly and I make sure that the blade is still in the right position. I should put some pieces of MDF sheet all around the jigsaw shoe, so I can put this jigsaw always in the right position when I install it in this playwood board. This structure is very easy to clamp to my workbench. And now it is more comfortable to use. And now, due to the blade clamping mechanism, I get perfect cross cuts once again. And I get a better 45 degrees cut. But not a perfect one. Thanks for watching. You can find all my woodworking videos in my channel in YouTube, including all the videos about this jigsaw table. And if you like my videos, thanks for subscribing to my channel.